I mean, literally I'm like 90 years old and she's so patient and so nice to me. We've been, we've worked together so many times. We've known each other for a million years. I laugh at him all the time. He makes me laugh. He he's such a sweet sweet human. So um, I I love it when I get to work with him. I love Chris. Um, I, you know it's so funny because I auditioned for a pilot a long time ago with Chris, and um, I really liked the pilot. And then I didn't go further with it. I actually don't even know what happened. But I remember meeting up with him, and I was like, Do you remember that I auditioned in this pilot with you? I don't actually know if he remembered or not. I can't, I think he was like, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so like, but he's a really nice guy. I actually don't see Chris that often because mm -hmm. our storylines don't don't cross. So whenever I see Chris on, on, uh, on set, I'm always like, oh my God, how's your season going? Oh, Chris. Um, again, I've not had too many right. scenes with Chris. However, the ones I have had I've always been struck, Christina, by the fact that he was so broken about Bill. Mm -hmm. And I I loved it. He would always say to me, he's like, why would a man do this to his family? <laughs> I was just like, good for you. He's like, I, I just, I hate him. And I was just like, good. You're the one who should play him. Because I was always so struck by that, that he was so broken up about what Bill would do, you know? And so I think that's a beautiful thing about our show as well. Like just we're there on the set, but then behind the scenes, everybody is within their families. They, our children are around or before, mm -hmm. before the pandemic. But, you know, we talk about our kids and we have our husbands and our wives and our significant others. And so, um, so Chris is, he is that, he is, um, he loves his family dearly, and you can see it every time we are around him. She is a, a dear friend and a wonderful mother. Jamie Lynn and I have not had many scenes together right. because, you know, Helen is not too fond of her. She's getting there. But Jamie Lynn has always been so sweet. I have not, she's, she's so professional and kind and soft-spoken and just a very, just a, a sweet, very kind heart, trying her best to be a good mommy mm -hmm. and a good wife. And I appreciate that yeah. in her, you know, and um, just really, really sweet. I, I didn't know what to expect when I was gonna run into Jamie Lynn, you mm -hmm. know, and found myself just sitting with her and, and we would talk and laugh and giggle about, you know, when I came into the show, my baby was three months old. Okay. And hers was uh, about a year. And so she was understanding me, you know, breastfeeding in the trailer and pumping. And so she'd be like, just do this and get this and get this for that. And I'm, I'm pushing my hands on my boobs because that's what we're be talking about. But it was, um, it was great to have, you know, that from her. So very, very sweet from me. Joanna, oh gosh, Joanna's so sweet. She's wonderful and she's so sweet and she's so kind and talented and beautiful and she's all the things and her family is beautiful and um, I have nothing but good to say. I have fallen in love with Joanna. I have a girl crush on Joanna. That is, um, she is a sweet, feisty, fierce woman who if you get in some trouble, you want that doll in your corner. Because not only will she fix it, <laughs> she'll call you and be like, okay, so I know how to get you from that. I've sent a car and, da -da 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 -da. and this is why you, I'll send clothes. You'll fix, and then you'll come to my house and you'll sleep and you'll be fine. <laughs> and she'll fix it. But if she needs some, if you need somebody to fight for you, it's it's just, it's true. And um, and so, yeah, she has, I, I, I do, like Joanna a lot. Let me let me say this very, very quickly before we go on. Joanna came in at the end of our process, right? Um, and I have this thing, I've just maybe learned the hard way that I, I don't want to, um, when I meet my cool leads, whether stage or wherever, 
I try my best not to be like, oh my gosh, I love you. Right. You know, we're supposed to be friends, so we're going to love each other. And mm, I'm going to come to your house and we're going to be fine. And our kids are going to play. It's going to be amazing. Because like two, two weeks later, you find out, you know, I don't like the way this one eats chicken wings. Right. Or, <laughs> <laughs> Everything annoys you. <laughs> Everything annoys you. Yeah. You're like, she said, what? You're like, oh, now I gotta go over to her house. And I, you know what I mean? And you have to play, and then it, it shows up on stage or, you know, mm -hmm. in the show. And so I think when she was coming in, I was like, I just, with everybody else, I was just, I just wanna organically mm -hmm. fall in love with these people. You know what I mean? And and so there's not gonna be, oh my gosh, we love it. You know, I know we have to be best of friends, but I just wanna organically do it. And and Joanna kind of came in and I was like, all right, well, that's not all out the window. I think I love her. <laughs> She is, I feel like we might have been separated at birth. Mm -hmm. I love her so much. She is, she's, it, we, like, she is the, um, if I'm like the naughty angel, she's the good angel. Ex although she is a little like naughty too. So don't let her act like she's all, you know, she's, she's got a little edge to her. For the most part, she doesn't like cuss or anything. She's very well behaved. <laughs> Heather, Heather's wonderful. Um, you know, it's so funny. I um, I used to work for Heather's manager a long, long time ago in Chicago, and um, there was like this long story. Will not drag you through. It was like a whole story about it. But anyway, when I first met Heather. Mm -hmm. I remember one time when I was working for her manager, because her manager was also a casting director, and I was working for her manager, and I picked up the phone and, you know, said, blah, 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 casting or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was Heather. Oh but God, I was a so huge funny. fan of Heather's from Aida. Right. And so I obviously didn't know her at the time, and she didn't know me. And I just remember being like, oh, my God. I just talked to Heather Headley on the phone. So I told Heather that story and she was like, oh, that's funny. And, you know, and so, so it was kind of funny that I had that little like introduction to her before she actually knew who I was. Brooke is kind of like that mommy figure, kind of, even though she has no kids or, you know, isn't married. But Brooke will come in with all, all the information. Brooke will know everything there is. Like, for instance, with the, the, the pandemic, Brooke was, this is what we're going to do. And this is how it is. Is everybody ready? You know, that kind of thing. I'm going to make sure I have mine. Do you have yours? Da, 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 da. You know, and so Brooke kind of sits us <laughs> down and we'll have us giggling sometimes. You're like, Brooke, is that? Really? Is that what? Oh, okay. I'll try it. You know, so um, she is, she is a sweet woman mm -hmm. as well. And um, I have also fallen for her. I feel like if you asked Heather about Brooke and I, she would be like, oh, they can, they're so annoying because we get tickle each other so much when we're working together and we are so dumb. Like, I really actually would be interested to see what footage they have of us. We're just so dumb. Like, it's just, it, we have so much fun. She makes me laugh so hard. Brandon Quinn. I love Brandon. I, I honestly cannot say enough good things about Brandon. I mean, truly, 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 I am so so lucky that he plays Ronnie. Mm -hmm. He is he is as committed to these characters as I am. And we were both highly, highly diligent mm -hmm. and committed to making sure that we did the best way to tell the story, if that makes any sense. They, you know, they have such a, um, a storyline through season two. Mm -hmm. And I think it was both, it was important to both of us so much that we like really honored every beat of that story mm -hmm. because it's so relatable. And I think our audience is going to find it really, really relatable and um, for better or for worse about that. Yep. But uh, but I really love that he was like just as in it as I was. And and he's such a talented actor and he's so fun to talk to. I literally, I could go on and on and on about how magnificent I think Brandon Quinn is. Oh, he's fantastic. <laughs> he's like the best. He's... Mm -hmm. He's just a good dad and a good husband and like such a great actor. He's so gorgeous. I tell him all the time, I'm like, and his whole family is like, they're just so, he's just the best. I love them so much. Carson is like a wizard mm -hmm. and he is 
Um, like he sings, he's got like 450 PhDs. That's actually not totally accurate, but he's, uh, he just, he's just a really special guy and he loves children. So he's always so sweet. And, um, and I think, it, I think people know that he's a newlywed. I think yeah. that's, that's true. Okay, mm -hmm. great. I was like, I wasn't sure if that was public. <gasps> and Logan is, um, he's such a great actor and not that Carson isn't, but he's just like such a, an artist and, um, and he's so cute and, and he's growing up and, and he's also a Florida Gator, which is fun. We live really close to each other in Florida. So that's a lot of fun. Annalise, Annalise Judge. I love Annalise. I love her. I love her. We got to spend some lunches together um, because we were like, you know, it was COVID. So we weren't yeah. really seeing anybody, but we were, could see each other kind of thing. And she was just as diligent about COVID as I was. And um, she is phenomenally talented. She's incredibly intelligent. She is well, well beyond her age. And we have gotten to be such good friends. I, I just, and she helps me with my social media because I'm terrible at it. And so whenever I'm going to post something, I freak out, right? Because I'm like, oh God, I've got to post something. And so I call Annalise. I'm like, okay. So if I say hashtag, I mean, literally I'm like 90 years old and she's so patient and so nice to me so she's my little she's my little helper in that way dion passionate about his work kind very giving not just as a man um but as an actor wants to know how can i you know be there for you how can i do this better and is such a great scene partner mm -hmm. to work off of he is easy to fall for even in, it, it is an intensity and this quiet strength to him. Um, but I also think the easy part to fall for him, for Dion, is because Dion loves his family at home. Mm -hmm. He's such a good daddy, new baby, and loves his wife. And it's so easy to kind of have that guy on set, you know, that you get to, because because we'll we'll stop and we'll just talk about, oh, so how, is he walking? And no. what's going on? And where's your wife? And how's your wife? And da, da, da. And so um, it really is fun to to be with him. Um, very, very strong yeah. personality, a quiet strength, mm -hmm. you know, um, just a quiet, a really, that, that would be my answer for Dion, a quiet strength I that love you that. can completely lean, you can lean on that strength.